Sailing Club in Grand Cayman, we're conducting our first International Maritime Organization sanctioned Level 1 oil spill response course for first responders. It's being instructed by uh, the director of the National Spill Control School in Corpus Christi, Texas, at Texas A&M University. We've trained with them in the past. They're a great group, uh, very professional and very hands-on. And this week, we're particularly happy to have members from the Coast Guard and members of the regiment who've never been involved in these activities in the past. So this multi-agency approach is a kind of a real life, what would happen in a scenario that the Department of Environment, which is the lead agency for oil spill response, can't handle on one-on-one. -on -one. Enforcement at Pegasus, you guys are up. Remember to communicate, remember when you're stretching the boom. We were on the water today doing a, a boom and circling exercise. Um, we had four vessels and I think the exercise went extremely well. I think what was particularly um, encouraging was how everyone worked together. They had obstacles, there were problems along the way. Um, it was great to see the teamwork between the different organizations and also to see how a lot of the theory that we learned in the first two days came into practice actually getting the booms out, um, deploying them, setting anchors and trying to contain what was in theory a, a spilled or a sub vessel that was leaking oil. Uh, Southern anchor at the end and the Pegasus collect the northern anchor at the end. Over. Unfortunately, we haven't had a history of, of great oil spills. We've had nuisance spills many times in the past. Uh, we do need to practice in case there's that event. We have a lot of tanker traffic passing by our shores. There are, are multiple scenarios where we think there could be a major spill. Hopefully there won't be, but we need to be prepared. And also we have uh, now come under the emergency, National Emergency Operations Center with Hazard Management and their whole team to supply us with all the things that we need. We just need to be practicing the technical parts for oil spill response to be all set.